Hi there, it's Sean over here at Revolution Video Productions with our new filmmaking DSLR product reviews. Obviously, we're going to be doing sound. Sound is obviously very important to filmmaking. And we're going to talk about inexpensive ways that we can help improve our sound. Now, one of the things I bought earlier this, well, sorry, last year, that's already 2015, keep forgetting that, was the XM55 by VidPro. Now, this is a condenser mic. It's just under 11 inches in length. Now, one of the main reasons I bought this, believe it or not, was because it did come with this hard case. Most of them just came in a package. I wanted something that was going to help protect the mic as you're traveling from site to site, you know, film location to film location. So this seemed pretty good. Um, it, it's this really sturdy, hard plastic. Turn around. Now, in just a few moments, we'll be going over uh, another piece of sound that we use is uh, a lavalier mic. This is the Sony ECMC3. Um, very inexpensive, and this one runs for $16. Now, as you can see on the inside, it's got nice foam padding, helps protect the mic. Um, it's a 13 piece kit, as I mentioned earlier. You get the, we're gonna go further into the mic in just a moment. You get the foam applicator going over the mic. You're also gonna get what's called a, a dead cat, which I've only used once. This is if you're outside or you're in a room with a lot of people and there's a lot of noise going around, that's very good to have. Uh, it also has this handy dandy grip. So if you were doing interviews and you were handing over the mic to somebody else. And then uh, it doesn't have another jack to change out. And then the XLR cable. This was something I really didn't know that it came with, was uh, this extra 26 feet. That is quite impressive. Now let's go over more of the specifics with the actual microphone. We'll take the cover off. Uh, it's made out of aluminum. It's very lightweight. It's 3.5 ounces. You got the horseshoe and this is gonna slide right into your DSLR. I use the Canon T3i. Also, I don't know if you can see, it also has uh, the quarter thread at the bottom. So a lot of times I have a monopod without a head on it. I'll actually screw that on. That's how I do the second part of this. And it'll only be like a foot and a half from me, just out of camera shot, so you can hear my sound. Um, it does come with this nice stand. And then the other reason is it has an XLR to the 3.5, which is very important for us to have the mic inputs on our camera. It also has, if you have a camcorder with XLR, it does have XLR to XLR, which is also another good thing is if you're doing weddings where there might be a DJ and you would like to plug into the mixer and get the sound right from there. So say somebody's speaking, instead of getting it from the actual mic, and it traveling a long distance, you'll get it right from their mic. So that's, that's awesome. Um, the price on this is, again, just under $100. So that's extremely affordable to help improve the sound quality of your videos. Let's go over the last just few bits of this and we'll start into our next segue into the ECMC3. And we're also gonna talk about separate sound recorders. I have the Olympus W802. Um, it does have an LED light indicator with a little switch. I don't have the battery in it. Yes, I do have the battery in it. As you may or may not be able to pick it up, there is a very tiny little LED light right there. Uh, I highly recommend that if you're not using this, that you actually unscrew it, take the battery out. Um, it does take one AA battery. AA batteries are, are really inexpensive. Um, I would highly recommend if you have rechargeable lithium 
or if you don't go ahead and just buy two and always keep them recharged on hand. There's been a couple of times where I either left it in and forgot to shut it off or maybe it just rubbed up against something and turned itself on and you know I went to go use it a few days later and the battery was dead. Not a big deal because like I said AA batteries aren't that expensive but it can get a little annoying after a while. So stay tuned for our next segue which is where we're going to be talking about what you're hearing from me now which is the Sony ECMC3 lavalier mic and of course we're going to talk a little bit more about if you want to use a separate separate recording sound say you don't have a mic input I have the Olympus uh, W802 so stay tuned for more info okay now we're back um, now we're going to talk about the other part now here is the the Sony lapel or some say lavalier you know I say tomato you say tomato but anyway this is a fairly nice one I've only had two uh, this is stereo. Most uh, lapel mics are only mono. They only have one channel. This has a left and right channel. I did actually, uh, last night I had somebody uh, ask me about this on Amazon. Does it have a mute button? And obviously, you know, there is no mute button. You know, it's just, you know, you have this, I would say, three to four feet of the 3.5. Uh, it does have a very nice clip. One of the things I don't like is where they situated the cord, which is right in the center. So unless you have it just like this and clipped on, so if you just have it clipped up one way or the other, it tends to, if you can see that, it'll fold either way. So it, it gets a little untidy. Uh, you are hearing me through a wireless transmitter. I bought this on eBay. Um, I believe it was under 20 bucks. This is the receiver that goes to the camera, and this is be the receiver that you plug your mic into. This takes a 9 volt. This takes two AAA. Don't ask me why. And then you take, then you extend your antenna like that. It's pretty simplistic. As you can even see, there's no name on them. I did see on Amazon today that they had uh, this similar unit. It actually had a name. It was like, I believe it was $17. So very inexpensive. Um, I'm going to tell you for a fact, the range is about, from what I've gathered, about 35 feet outside. Uh, inside it could be even less. I'm not that far from my camera, so the pickup should be fine. Now prices. Now on Amazon today, this was sixteen ninety three, and it, it varies. It goes anywhere. I've seen them for like thirteen dollars, and I've seen them up to twenty five. Um, the the condenser mic usually runs exactly the same all the time ninety nine ninety nine. I have seen it as low as eighty nine ninety nine. Now let's talk about if you wanted to do separate sound. Uh, one of the great things about using a separate sound is you can have the subject moving around a lot more. Um, it's easier in editing. I use Audacity for editing sound. Works really well. This is the Olympus. Uh, it's the W802. It's got a lot of nice features. You do have a mic input and you've got headphones so you can play back and listen to it you can listen to it as somebody's talking as well it takes only one AAA battery you do have it does have uh, I believe four gigs internally and then you can also has a slot for the mini SD card which is what I use all the time does also have a USB hub. So you can plug that right into your laptop or desktop. Uh, I don't use it a lot. I'm going to be honest. I, I usually just uh, do the sound directly to the camera. I am trying to get used to it a little bit more. Um, I do like the sizes. It's really small. This actually, I saw on today, was 
retail for 130 which seems really high for something so small it does produce really good sound but you can buy it refurbished for about $48 so these are all important tools when we're doing our filmmaking is our sound so you don't want really bad sound and have a great picture and vice versa you don't have, want to have a really bad picture and great sound so it's something that you have to work on if you notice some of the prices that I was I was talking about like a refurbished one of these is $48 that's not extremely expensive the lavalier mic was under $20 the wireless units that I've used and I've used for over over a year and a half those are under $20 and even the boom mic was under a hundred dollars and it works extremely well so it needs the meat of our DSLR filmmakers who are on a very 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 tight budget all these products work really well if you have any questions please leave them in the comment below give us a thumbs up you can also like us on our Facebook and you can subscribe to our channel we're going to be doing more and more product reviews this is Sean with Revelation Video Productions look forward to seeing you again